Hey everybody, back with a G.I. Joe Classified review. This is the Crimson Guard, and this is number 50 in the series. And this was an Ali's find. I just found this at Ali's early October. You can see right here the price is $4.99. Originally, they have a $20 price on it. And it is the Crimson Guard guy. I dig this. So let's go ahead and let's open this up. I mean, for five bucks, it's hard to say that there's any G.I. Joe classified that I wouldn't pick up at that price. So let's go ahead and pull this out. There he is in the package, in the plastic. Got him out of the plastic. Now let's do the accessories. All right, that was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Some of the accessories, especially the clip and the sword sheath. So let's go ahead. So we'll take a look at this. So that is, there's the sword. And let's fit the sword in the sheath. It has a peg on it. So I'm assuming, I don't, I don't know, you don't put it on his back, would you? Maybe it goes on the backpack. Yeah, pack pack. So here's the backpack. It has a silver cobra. So the sword will go right here. I think I bent the sheath a little bit getting out. Hmm, that doesn't want to go in. There we go. So we have a knife. Like serrated on one end. I don't know if you can see that. So that's a nice attention to detail there. And I'm going to guess the knife goes here. Yep. And the gun. The handgun. And then the clip. So let's put the handgun right here in the holster. Put the backpack on. And here's the clip. See if I can clip it in. That's maybe the other direction. Maybe I was right the first time. Doesn't seem to want to clip in yet. There we go. It actually snaps in. And let's see, can I get him to hold it? I guess I need to have him try. I shouldn't, I was like trying to grab the clip and I should grab the handle. All right, that took a little bit of finesse, but I got in his hand with the gun, with the finger. Looks like he could probably do any hand. I was able to do it. So let's see. So here he is. He has the black handle or helmet with a little bit of silver like the original action figure. Walmart has one with the silver face guard, which I actually prefer. I wonder if you could put the gun right there. There's a little poke right there. I actually prefer the silver. I think it looks better and it matches the art, but this does match the original figure. But for $5, I mean, that is not bad at all. So we can bend at the knees, a little bit at the foot. A little articulation here and there. I dig it. I really, really dig it. Let's check out his height with the GoBots ruler. GoBots ruler says he's about six and a half inches tall, which I believe is what he's supposed to be. But I, I like him. I think he's going to go great in the collection. Obviously, he's good for like troop building, army building, 
I'll have to get a stand and stand him up. I'm sure he'll be fine. But the Crimson Guard at Alley's, it was only five bucks. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Click like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.